Well then today, if you see a GDS for consideration, you're again in New Jersey here in Whiting. Just a few considerations, because it was a long day today, just a few considerations. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. We read in the Gospel of today, St. Peter says, Lord, we have left all to follow you. What reward do we get? And one thing that we must remember that in the last five, six hundred years, there was a development of the Devotio Moderna, the modern devotion. And the Devotio Moderna started in the 1400s, and it focused very much on we must do penance for our sins, we are not worthy of any reward, we are not worthy of any gift from God, and therefore we should do all things out of the love of God and not worry about a reward. And while this is kind of true, it is never the spirit of a child. When our Lord, even though St. Paul said, when I was a child, I thought as a child, but now I'm a man to put away the things of a child. Notice he says, I put away the things of a child. But he didn't stop being a child. Because that same St. Paul says, I have fought the fight. I have run the race. And the grace in God is in me has not been void. And I am going to receive my reward. Who says that? A child. We now remember that my Lord said, unless you be a little child, you should not enter the kingdom of heaven. And when a little child does something good, when a little child does something good, even though, look, mommy, I cleaned my room. You cleaned your room. You little brat, you're supposed to clean your room. Who made your room dirty? You did. Who made your room a mess? You did. Who's supposed to clean your room? You are. And this, and, and should you be rewarded for it? Absolutely not. But a child doesn't think like that. The child comes and says, mommy, I cleaned my room. What are you going to give me? Well, you cleaned your room. That's very good. I'm going to give you a cake. A child does do good things, but a child considers that there be a reward. And St. Peter speaks in the name of all the apostles. And like a little child, he says, Lord, we left everything. And it's interesting, from the very beginning of the church, there were heretics. And they complained, you, Peter, left everything. You were a poor fisherman. You were bad at fishing. You were not very rich. You left a very poor house. What do you mean you left everything? You left very little. And St. Augustine says, yeah, maybe he was poor. And maybe he didn't have a very good fishing company. And maybe he did leave only a few things. But whoever leaves all, leaves much. And what does our Lord Jesus Christ say? Does he try to correct Peter? Peter, everything you in your fishing company came from me. Your house came from me. Everything came from me. I made you what you are. I'm going to make you a priest of God and the Holy Father of the entire world. And you're asking me for a special reward? He should be upset. But Peter speaks like a child. And he's speaking to his Master and Lord. And he speaks like a child. And he's speaking to his Father. And what does the Father say to the Son? Okay, Son, you've cleaned your room. Okay, Son, you've helped me. Uh, fix the chair that you broke. You helped me fix the bike that you broke. You helped me f fix the window that you broke and so on. So what reward? What reward do I get, Father? Peter speaks as a child to a father. And how does Jesus Christ speak to Peter? He speaks to him like a father to a son. And what does he say? I'm going to reward you, Peter. Does he remind Peter that you're going to deny me three times? That you're going to curse us where you don't know me? That you are going to fight with your, other, with your brother apostles? That you're not yet really ready to be an apostle? No, he says, no, if you follow me, I'm going to make you 12 men. You 12. I'm going to make all 12 of you. Including Matthias will take the place of Judas because he did not accept the reward. But you that have followed me. I will put you over the 12 tribes of Israel, and you will judge the entire world. And not only this, but let me speak to all people of all time. Every man, woman, and child that is not yet born, and all people of all times, whoever follows me, he is going to, whoever leaves his house, whoever leaves his father, whoever leaves his mother, whoever leaves his country, in order to follow me for my name's sake, you will receive a hundredfold. 
a hundredfold. So people like to gamble. Well, what do we do? We put down one, you get back a hundred. That's a very good bet. But what is it now? We are going to put down one and we're going to get back a hundred every single time. Whoever leaves his house, whoever leaves his mother, whoever leaves his father, whoever leaves his, his country, and for my name's sake, is going to receive a hundredfold here below. And, as a little side note, vitam eternam, life everlasting. A real man wants a reward. A child wants great things. He wants glory. He wants a reward. And we must remember that we who follow Jesus Christ, we are worthy of punishment because we are sinners. We are worthy to be to be uh, receive all manner of, of punishment coming from God because of our own weakness. But what should be our spirit? Peter followed Christ, though he was a sinner. And he said, Lord, we have left all to follow you. We still fight amongst ourselves. We're still going to deny Christ three times. He's still going to fall asleep in the garden because he wasn't able to stay awake for one hour. And yet, this Peter, who will rise from his sleep, who will weep for his sins, who will continue to follow Christ even though he's weak, this Peter says, where is my reward? And Christ says, I'm going to give you a great reward. And everyone that follows me from now until the ending of the world is going to receive a hundredfold here below. Now, why is it that a man wants money? He wants security. Why is it that a woman wants a guy who's got a good job and a nice house, etc.? She wants security. And why is it that we want food and possessions? Because we want security and we want happiness. We want the fulfillment of our desires. We want to be secure in an unsecure world, happy in an unhappy world, in light and a land of darkness, and so on. Well, seek light from a light bulb, and electricity goes out. Seek light from a flashlight, and the battery goes dead. Seek money from the bank, and the bank goes bankrupt. Seek money from the government, and the money loses its value. But why don't we seek something that is a hundredfold guaranteed success? And that means when I follow our Lord Jesus Christ, is going to be a hundredfold security. Is going to be a hundredfold happiness, a hundredfold peace, a hundredfold of joy and, and, and glory and happiness in this life. In this world, we will have a few tears. But as we look around and we follow Christ, there will be so many adventures, and there will be so many rewards. We will literally receive a hundredfold of happiness here below. And then, when the time comes of our death, eternal life. These are two good reasons to follow Christ. We are sinners, and we are weak, and we must go to confession. But don't go to confession just to stay away from sin. And don't come to Christ just to be forgiven our sins. But come as a child. Lord, I'm going to follow you. I'm going to leave behind uh, my little bitty uh, things that I have. I'm going to leave behind my little gifts, my little possessions that are going to be taken from me anyway. And I'm going to follow you. Lord, what reward do I have? A hundredfold here below. Eternal happiness in the next life. So when we travel with Christ with this thought, we can travel great distances, and we don't worry when we drop a few thousand dollars, and we have a house burnt down, when we have our possessions taken from us, when we lose all things that we have. Why worry, since I'm going to get a hundredfold. I'm going to get a hundredfold here below, and eternal happiness in the next life. I'm going to have a hundredfold of peace, a hundredfold of happiness, a hundredfold of security, and then eternal life. In any case... We close it at that. Remember, we still let's follow Christ as children. And remember that while we are sinners, children quickly forget their sins. They say, Lord, I'm sorry. And the Lord says, you're forgiven. And then they forget. The Lord forgot our sins. And then they forget. And then they say, Lord, what is my reward for following you? What is my reward for going after you? And he says, I'm going to give you a hundredfold here below in eternal happiness in the next life. In any case, let's follow him looking for that reward. And give up the things that we have so that we can get a greater reward of security and happiness here below and eternal life in the next world. Closing, God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.